Don't lose it. See if we can get in front of it, pull back into the shore and have a shot. It's just coming up here, look. What is going on my doggies? Welcome back to another video. We have just been dropped off on one of the most incredible uninhabited little islands. We're gonna to try to survive on this island. We've got no food, we've got no water, we've got no way of getting off this island. Our boat driver just took off over there. We're gonna see if we can live, survive, build shelter, find food, find water on this island. This, this is gonna be one hell of an episode, doggies. Lock it in. All right, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna start building a shelter. If you guys can see out there, that is a massive big front. It is holding a heap of rain. And um, over here, it's right, it just pissed down for a couple of seconds and that little, that little cell passed. What we're gonna do is we're gonna build a shelter. We're gonna use this big log here, a log there, make a little bit of a lean to. We need a shelter. All right, that's gonna go up there like that. Let's slide him down. Oh, this is gonna be a hell of a shelter. Look at this. That's home. That'll be good in there. I like it. All right, so one of my favorite knots when I'm building a shelter like this, come through your loop, give yourself a fair bit of string on this side, come around three times around your main line, bring that loop back through, make sure you've got a loop, and then just snug that up tight. That will never, ever come undone. And if you've got to pack up the shelter very, very quickly, all you've got to do is pull on this, and this thing will just come undone. All right, so what we're doing is, we're setting up this bow and arrow. Hopefully we can go get a couple of fish a stingray will take anything right now. We're just gonna walk along the shallow water here, hunting with this bow and arrow, see if we can get a fish, start a fire, jump in this shelter before that rain hits. We're kind of hoping that it does rain because what we want is a little bit of drinking water. And we'll be able to gather drinking water off the top of this tarp. So fingers crossed it rains. Right now we're gonna go see if we can get hunt a couple of fish. The problem that I'm gonna have right now is I'm just using a standard arrow. I don't have any string connected to this. I don't like using proper bow fishing arrows. I like using normal arrows. Basically what we're gonna do is just shoot and you just gotta run after the fish and dive on the fish before it swims away because they will swim away with an arrow in their back. So what we're gonna do is we just gotta shoot, run and try to get the arrow on the fish before they swim out. It makes it a lot harder, but it's a lot more enjoyable. So we're gonna start looking along this shallow edge here. Hopefully we find some mullet, stingray fish, anything to shoot. We're gonna start a fire and have a feed. That is the goal. All right, this rain isn't pushing in as fast as we hoped. We've been walking around for about 15, 20 minutes. There's a lot of fish, but they're like this big. Don't want to shoot them with the bow and arrow. This could take a long time trying to find fish with the bow and arrow. Up here, there's a couple of epic coconuts in this little tree. This thing's on like a 30 degree angle, so I'm just going to get up there, crawl up there, knock a couple of coconuts down, hopefully. Here's another one. That's three. Wah! We've got three coconuts. What I noticed was when I dropped them out of the tree, some of them actually split open and dropped a little bit of liquid. That's a good sign. That means they're young coconuts, they're gonna be full of liquid. We'll take these back to base camp. We'll keep looking for these fish with the bow and arrow. I'd love to get a fish with the bow and arrow. It's hard in this sort of choppy water, but hopefully we get it done.
If you guys are new to the channel, I am one of the worst coconut tree climbers on planet Earth. So that little coconut tree which I just climbed then is a victory for the field day family. <laughs> That's such a shitty small tree. Probably got three real good coconuts out of it. There is a school of mullet here. There's about five or six mullet in the school. They're all about this big. I'm just gonna take a pot shot in the school, see if we can hit one. It's gonna be extremely hard. They're about 600 mil under the water, so it's gonna be pretty hard. We'll see if we can get one. Oh, I got one. Yes. That is the shot of all shots right there. Look at that. That is a beautiful little mullet. That's going straight on the fire. He's not big, but he's food. <laughs> Look at this. That is a little mullet. We've just plugged a little mullet. Look at that. The arrow went straight in the side. Perfect shot. With the bow and arrow. That's definitely not enough to feed us, but if we get a couple of them, we'll be eating good. Put this guy out of his misery. I'll chuck him in my pocket. We'll keep walking. That rain is just starting to spit now. We've got to move. We've got to move, Mac 10. We've got to move. Let's try to get a couple more of these. That was a sick shot. Whew. All right, that rain is here. And it looks like it's here to stay for quite a while. So I've just ran up the beach there, found a little bit of rubbish. Unfortunately, the beaches are completely just covered in rubbish again here. So I've got this little, um, what is this, like a pop meal? It's like a noodle cup. I'm just going to stick this down here. There's this consistent drip of heavy drips of water. That's going to collect fresh water for us down there. All right, so while I was on my travels looking for that bottle that we can fill up with water, I found another bag. I swear to God, every island we go on, we find bags. Let's open this thing up, see if there's a bit of treasure in it. Oh, it actually has stuff in it. This is the first bag which actually contains actual treasure. Check this out. So if you were really stranded on this island, they've got a toothbrush. Here, I'll open it up, look at this. We have actually got a toothbrush with toothpaste in a packet. Another toothbrush with toothpaste. Look at this one, blue one, that's my one. That's a good toothbrush. With toothpaste, another toothbrush. What is that? Bath and shower gel. <laughs> Are you kidding? Another one. I don't know what that is, but it's some kind of a bath or shower gel also. Same with this. This is gonna be conditioning shampoo. Oh man, we've got it all going on here. What's that one? Bath gel. Look at how much water we've collected already. There is a heap of water in the bottom of that cup. We're both gonna have a nice mouthful of drinking fresh water. Those coconuts, I've just left, left them up the coast there. I gotta go get them. But look at this, man. We have just found someone's like cosmetic bag full of treasure. If you were stuck on this island, you'd be able to brush your teeth, you'd be able to have a shower, you'd be able to wash your hair. Look at that, mate. I'm going to stick it all back in here and leave it in this little base camp here as a souvenir. You never know. Might just brush our teeth and have a fresh water shower in the rain. That's sick, but... It looks like this rain is set in for the long run. It has been raining for about an hour now. We've just been pushed up in that little shelter back there. I don't know if you can see the shelter in the background there. We've just been sitting under the shelter trying to take, obviously, shelter from the rain. But um, it just it's just so consistent. I'm just going to start working in the rain. I'm going to push up the end of the island here where we left those coconuts. I'm going to grab a couple of those coconuts so we can have the fresh water that we're collecting there. We'll have the taste of some fresh coconuts. Then I'm going to just get, a get out there with a the bow and arrow. We're going to start hunting. We need some more food. We've got one mullet right now. I've seen a stingray this morning. I would love to get a stingray and chuck that on the fire. So if I can shoot a stingray, that'll be real good. A couple more fish, I'll be happy with anything. But right now, I'm going to punch back up here, get those coconuts. I'll just keep my eye out in the water here as well as I'm walking. That is going to come in handy for something for sure. We'll take that with us. Lots of, lots of valuable things have been washed up along the beach here. Look at this, bottles, plastic bottles. Lots of stuff on this coastline. This island is like nothing we've ever been on before. Have a look at this. 
This is very strange. What is going on here? Look at this, man. It's just a big open field of dead trees. This is really strange. I've never seen this on an island before. This is just a big open field of just dead trees. Like, I'm, it's just a big oval of deadness. Nothing is living in there right now. It's almost like it's like some sort of a nuclear bombs hit that area. Oh man, the mozzies are bad. It's like a nuclear bombs hit that area and there's nothing growing. Oh, I'm going back to the coast. Mosquitoes are thick in the jungle. This is what I come for. Me bloody coconuts. Oh, we've got three beautiful coconuts here. That's a heap of liquid. Let's head back to camp. See where this day takes us. Look at this, man. This is good. This island's sick. Very different island again. Looks like that rain has passed over. What we've done is we've filled up a whole entire cup full of drinking fresh water from the rain. We've got three of these beautiful coconuts. Look at that thing, it's just full of liquid. There's no short of coconuts around here. What we do need to do is we need to start finding food. We've got one fish, it's about that big, and that's all we've got right now. So we're gonna neck a couple of coconuts, get back on foot, get the bow and arrow out, and hopefully we find something good to eat. Look at this, pretty excited about this coconut. Oh, that's fish on! Oh no, that's fish off! Oh, we just smoked a snapper! Oh, I just did a big jump out of the water and all. That was fish on. Good shot. Just got off the spear, but... Damn. Check this out, check this out. Oh no, 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 no. Where'd that go? Look at this, check this out. Don't lose it. Hey, 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 hey. Move this rock out of the way. Here it is, here, check this out. There it is, there. Oh, oh, oh. Gotcha, gotcha. Look at this. Look at the colors in it, he is tiny. He fits in the palm of my hand. He'd be a beautiful little feed. There's probably, that's like a big prawn. You could probably eat him. We're not gonna eat this one, he's too small, he's too beautiful. That is an incredible little creature. That's how big he is, he's tiny. I'll put him back, let him fight another day. See you, mate. Go, 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 get out of here. Check that out right there, there is a stingray. Just about three meters off the shore, he's just cruising along the edge there. They are a delicacy around here. That stingray right there, I don't know if you can see it, they are really good eating. He's just cruising, I'm gonna try, see if we can flank him up here, or run up here. We'll see if we can get in front of it, pull back into the shore and have a shot. He's just coming up here, look. He doesn't even know I'm here right now. He's got no idea that I'm here. That is gonna go straight on the fire. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. We got a stingray on right here. If his stinger comes around and whips me, I'm in some big trouble. And get him up on the beach here. Yes! Now we're eating good. That is a beautiful stingray right there. We're gonna be having a good feed now. We've got one little mullet and a stingray. With the bow and arrow, things are looking up around here. Now this is a good feed. That thing there was just cruising in the water. It didn't even, it, it sort of knew I was there. We ran around, we ran in front of it. Then I just sort of snuck up behind that log and just waited and it literally just comes straight at me. Like without any hesitation, we popped him. What, I, what you've got to be careful with with the stingray is this tail here. 
This is like a whip tail and it is, it is deadly, man. See this spike here? So this here is the barb of a stingray. What it does is it lays flat and sort of camouflages in the tail. But this is this defense mechanism. What it does, it whips this thing around. That there is a rock hard, razor sharp barb. It has many little baby barbs along the side of it. And if you get stung by that, you will know all about it. You'll be in a world of pain. You do not want to be stung by one of these. That's it, that's all you need. Got a tiny little ember here. All you do now is just blow. That whole entire coconut husk is just slowly just gonna burn. It, this stuff is incredible. One of the most important things when you come to an island like this, or especially like a climate like this, First thing you do when you get there is just collect dry firewood. Everything around us right now is soaking wet, nothing's dry. But because we put the firewood in the shelter as soon as we got here, we've got nice dry firewood, we've got a fire pumping down here, we've got a bloody stingray down here which we're about to chew on. It is good, things are looking up. There's another big rain cloud coming over here in the distance, but if that happens at least we can transfer the fire under the shelter and we can cook and have a good old feed. I'm pretty excited about eating this stingray. Look at him. Right in the middle of the danger zone, ready? Eat it, eat it, eat it, come on, eat it. Oh my God, we just got smoked. Oh, that's fish, no, we dropped it. Oh, oh, that's fish on. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that, that is what you call a long tom. Crazy looking fish. Have a look at the teeth on that thing. They are some of the gnarliest teeth in the ocean. They are razor sharp, they're actually like pins. So when I just had that fish then, I've been coming, I'm becoming complacent, look at this. The little thing just whipped around and just destroyed my finger. Those tiny little teeth there just destroyed my finger. Look at that, there's hundreds of little holes are all the way down my finger. My full finger went in his mouth. <laughs> but that's what we're gonna chuck on the fire. Long Tom, fresh little bit of Long Tom with a stingray. This island right now is providing us a fair bit of food. There's lots of little bait fish out here jumping around. Obviously it's Long Tom like that which are chasing them. He's going straight on the fire. Payback for ripping a hole in my finger. Look at that. Little bastard. All right, let's get back to the fire. What we've done here is we've taken off both of those wings off of that stingray. So this, these are just two big chunks of meat right here, big stingray wings. But what you have inside the wing is this big like bone of cartilage. What you want to do is you want to grab your knife. You just follow that cartilage down and peel the skin away from the cartilage, you'll have two layers of meat. You've got one big chunk of meat here, a big bit of cartilage, and then you've got another big, beautiful chunk of meat on the bottom. So I'm just gonna take the top cartilage off, just like all the top meat off of that cartilage like this. That's what we're gonna eat, and then the other half goes on the fire and you can just pick the meat off of that there. Beautiful. Boy. All right, we're gonna go in here. Gonna go back into the mozzie jungle. Gotta find a couple of sticks. Oh, that is beautiful. That's one. That's two. Another beautiful one, this one. this little basket would come in handy. Look at this, we have got beautiful chunks now of very clean, nice white stingray meat. So we've got four flaps in the bottom here, the top half and the bottom half. Look at that. So these are gonna go straight on the fire. It's gonna be good. Fresh stingray in a little, little cleaning container which we found. Good. All right. Let's 
go and bang these straight on the fire. That fire is at an optimal cooking level right now. These green sticks, which we just cut out of the bush up there, is what is gonna make our grill plate. So we're just gonna drop them across the top of these coals. Now these coals right now, that is very, very hot. And the reason, the reason that we're using green sticks obviously is because green wood doesn't burn as fast as the wood there. So they're gonna last a lot longer. The fish will cook before the wood burns. Now that is what I call a seafood basket. Straight from the ocean, it's, legit, it's legitimately a seafood basket right now. Little mullet first thing we got today, that's gonna go there. This fish which destroyed my finger, I'm gonna put him over there. They're gonna cook a lot quicker than this. So what we do is we'll get these beautiful stingray flaps. We're gonna chuck them over these dry, I mean wet pieces of wood which we've laid out here. Another one, we're gonna go meat down for this one. Another one's going on, meat down. All right, we're only gonna be able to fit three on there, so we'll chuck that over there, keep our fish in the basket. But that is pumping out a whole lot of heat. It's not gonna to take too long to cook. It is. We've got Stingray coming up. Oh yeah, there's one. There's two old ones. There's another one. Boy, Jesus. All right, we've got two coconuts. That'll do. Can you guys hear this? If you can hear that right now, that means that inside this coconut, there is about that much liquid. It's gonna have a big, hard, edible bit of meat inside and not much water. This is no good to us right now. We're dying from thirst. We'll see if we can get a couple more. That's no good. We'll take it back, we'll have the white meat on the inside, but that's no good. We're gonna have to get another one down. All right, new tree. Oh, oh my God, that's three. Three coconuts in one dance, man. And these are gonna be incredible. That is full of water. We've got three of them in one drop. Boom, look at this. Yes, yes, yes please. All right, we're gonna go check in our stingray flaps. It is all happening right now. These two bad boys here. They'll have a little bit of meat inside them. Let's go, Mac-10. Stingray eating time. Yeah, look at that. Squirt all over me. It's so hot right now. That is another great drinking little coconut there. He's full of liquid. Oh, it's so sweet. Bloody hell, it's hot out of here right now. We've got two and a half hours before the sun sets. It is piping hot, it hasn't been hot all day. This morning was raining, now it is stinking hot. We've got beautiful fresh little coconuts. Two, two more drinking ones down here. Two edible ones. We've got the long tom and the mullet both on the fire right now. Stingray flaps have just been turned. They've got about another minute or two, they're gonna be done. Everything's looking up. Coconut's are good. We don't want the liquid out of this, so I don't mind if I lose this liquid. Open up. Here we go. That's what we're after right there, that little bit there. Mm. That's good, man. My favorite. Look at that. It's still bleeding where that bloody fish bit me. Crazy sharp teeth. That's, that's really, really good. Have a look down here. We have got stingray flaps, which are done. Don't you dare fall in the fire. Oh man, that's, that's, that's done. Transport that over to this table. Look at this table that Mac-10 made. How good is that thing? Stingray flaps are all coming off. Some of them are stuck to the sticks. Oh, look how white the meat is inside. This one, this one's cooked good. Why? That's hot. Mullet can stay on there for another minute. All right, this one will come over here. Bang. The seafood basket is finished. It's cooked and it's cooked very, very well. Down here, we've got a long tom. I've just taken the skin off that. Look at that, little bits of meat. Beautiful white. Check that out. White meat from the long tom. It's beautiful. Down here, we've got a little mullet. 
stingray flaps as well. Inside this coconut, what I've done is I've cut little bits of coconut up like this. Last time that I ate stingray on an island, what the locals did was they cut little bits of coconut like this. They'd grab a beautiful chunk of stingray meat exactly like that. They'd put the stingray meat on top of the little bit of coconut and they'd eat it just like this. Delicacy. It is so good. Here, babe, wrap your lips around this. It is so good, man. It's actually pretty good. What do you reckon that tastes like? Mm. <laughs> it's good. People think it tastes cheap because it's stingray. Look at that. No, it tastes good. A little bit of stingray meat, coconut. Here, have one of these. Have that. Have a little island biscuit. Mm. The taste is really good. The texture is interesting. The te yeah, the texture is not normal. It's like nothing you've ever put in your gob before. But these little sandwiches that we're making are actually really, really good. I love it, man. Stingray's good, and you get a hell of a feed out of it. Look at all the food we've got right here. Oh. All right. It is time for us to get up on out of here and bail. Look at the tide right now. The tide has pushed up about two meters since, the, since we got here. Got big rain clouds coming over the back again. This weather's got no idea what it's doing. We've got a boat driver picking us up in exactly one hour and six minutes on the other side of the island. So we're gonna pack all this up, leave it exactly how we left it, maybe even take a little bit of rubbish with us and walk all the way where that boat's gonna pick us up. We nailed today's challenge. We've got fresh drinking water. We found coconuts. We shot a stingray with a bow and arrow. We've got a long tom. We've got a mullet. This is what it's all about, doggies. If you guys want to grab your merch, hats, t-shirts, make sure you go check out fieldayshop.com and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Love each and every one of you. See you later. Hey! Easy. And that is our boat to come and rescue us off this abandoned island. Good day, fun day. Thanks for watching. That boat's coming to pick us up. Much love, doggies. See you in the next video.